the air is moving so fast and it just felt like the past six months just went so fast with a snap of a finger well if you've been trying to figure out what to do with the remaining half of the year or you are literally kind of confused then this video is literally for you well we officially in july the second half of the year and at this point you might be judging from your new year resolutions that time has gone so fast you know at a point or during the new year if you are so excited about the new year and you begin to drop resolutions here and there things you want to do set goals and all that and all that and it kind of feels that the time has gone so fast and you haven't even maybe achieved quarter or half of the goals that you said you have piled up goals that you haven't achieved and looking at it it just feels that maybe you have been maybe lazy or you are tired or is feeling like it's kind of boring or maybe you even got distracted at some point well if you are the person who isn't happy with the progress of the first half of the year that's okay i'm not here to judge you but you still have six more months to make it right and you can literally do it so what are you going to do right now one thing i want you to do is to redefine your goals i know it's the middle of the year and a lot of people will be slacking back on the goals that they want to achieve or the goals that they have set for themselves and to some it's kind of getting boring to some is you know they are already procrastinating as regards that to so some they are pretty much tired as regards the goals that they set for themselves and i'm not saying that much better i'm literally working every day to ensure that i improve on myself and literally ensure that everything i do is in alignment with the goals that i want to achieve so i think we should have this checking moment as regards our goals as you guys are monthly goals our weekly goals our daily goals you get the point you just have to check again and maybe you might give these goals a new meaning or maybe you might want to tweak it a little bit to maybe you know be directed to the part that you are pursuing let's say for example for me at the beginning of the day i wanted to you know read more books because i had some books piled up and it was literally difficult for me because every year i have books to read but at the end of the year i have not even read two books at the end of the year and this was something i literally needed to change this new year i really needed to change it because it was getting tiring and i'm someone that lost within but when i see the books and I want to read it all at once maybe so that at the end of the year i'll be like i read 20 books i read 30 books you get a point because people will come out and say i read so so books so so number of books this year and if you're looking at those people you get intimidated and literally i wanted to do something like that but it wasn't working so i just have to remove all those thoughts and do what works for me so i had to create a plan on how i'm going to read my books at least every month i should have one book read even if i don't finish that one book at least i made efforts to ensure that i read or i read my books so every day i have to read a chapter of a book and i enjoy reading in the morning like i enjoy reading in the morning before i start doing any other thing after my morning routine i enjoy reading in the morning like i don't know there's one energy that it i don't know but for you you might prefer to read in the evening or in the afternoon or before you sleep or in the morning like me so i prefer it in the morning so i had to create a plan on how to you know get all this done and this leads us into the next point which is creating a plan so having a plan is one of the essentials to ensuring that all your goals all the promises you made to yourself is accomplished so you need to you know get those goals that you have and break them down into actionable bits to make it easier for you to you know follow through within the month within the week daily to get a point for example using this example again you want to read a book this month now you have to ask yourself do you prefer reading in the morning or do you prefer reading at night 
well you just have to go for what works best for you but if you read via your phone i will literally suggest within it will later in the day if you don't like within the morning i will literally suggest or recommend reading through your phone on your bed at night before you sleep that might literally affect your health and your eyes like it's not literally for me i don't enjoy reading with my phone on my bed at night so that is literally my suggestion for you now find a stable time that you can attach every day to ensure that this time i'm definitely going to be reading my book by this time you get the point now i also want to make it important and urgent for you okay like attaching a time in the morning double time that you can read it as it's something that is urgent okay now if it's you know not urgent but it's definitely something important that you want to achieve you can literally schedule a time maybe within the day that you want to read it or move it back the time that you want to read it that you schedule that will be okay for you to read okay also i have a journal and a notepad that i use in planning now this literally helps me to you know check in during the day and as well reflect on my daily goals on my weekly goals on my monthly goals to know what i'm doing right what i need to change and you know what i need to keep working on or to keep improving on now this literally helps me like i don't literally attach much things to do much tasks to do a day on my notepad or on my journal so that I literally know what i'm going to do and you know do it at that time now if maybe i have a lot to do a day and i didn't accomplish everything i literally move it into the next day and ensure that the next day doesn't have much tasks so that i will definitely accomplish all that i want to do so I, i'm just making it kind of i just have to make it interesting i don't have to be strict on myself and i just have to follow through and at the end i'm happy and i am fulfilled even this video i watching was scheduled to leave this week like to be uploaded this week and i have to do the necessary things to ensure that it is uploaded okay which involves editing and stuff now it has to be planned out okay like i literally followed through that plan to ensure that this video goes live today and that's just it another is eliminate hindrances that will literally you know stop you from accomplishing your goals and this is one point that is literally important i'm also talking about distractions right here because distractions can hinder you from accomplishing goals that you have it can come from different angles just like i said in a previous video you don't have much time so you don't you shouldn't even waste the time that you have because time is something that you can bring back right now the little device you might have in your pocket your phone might be a might be a distraction to you you know meeting up with some of the goals that you should meet up with imagine every day you wake up and your phone is close to you the next thing you do is to pick up your phone and begin to scroll to social media to find one funny cranky joke to literally crack you up that morning and before you know it you have scrolled to a lot of you know comedy funny things and time is going looking at time it might be like three hours is gone and you're like what am i doing what did i even do like i spent three hours laughing and literally cracking myself up this morning and that might not literally make you feel good i don't know about you but if i'm literally in that position i'll literally not be happy especially early in the morning and the first thing i'm doing is going to my phone for like three hours one thing you can do here if this is literally what you always do every day is to ensure that when you're going to bed your phone is not close to you it's not close to your bedside to avoid you waking up and picking your phone if you're always pushed to pick up your phone in the morning that is something that you can work on and ensure that you don't you know keep your phone close to your bed when you go to sleep because i literally do this i'm not literally pushed to pick up my phone in the morning and to avoid that temptation i don't keep my phone close to me now even if i want to work with my phone i have to turn off all the notifications or put it in you know i don't want anyone to disturb me or i don't want to get notifications from apps so i'm literally focused on maybe pursuing maybe a personal goal that i want to you know achieve you get the point maybe using my phone 
Now, if you have apps, because there are apps that could help you, I don't have any to suggest right now. There are apps that could help you to literally, that can lock your social media so you can focus on whatever you're doing with your phone for a stipulated amount of time. Go for those apps. And if you already have it in your phone, start using it. Like, don't leave it there to rot or waste your time, you know, having such an app in your phone and you feel like it, you don't need it. You need it. Especially if you're always distracted with your phone and you work with your phone. So this is one way to help you to remove those distractions that literally, you know, that literally hinder you from accomplishing your goals. Even if you're a creator and you create um you create videos online, like you should have a time where you, you know, create videos, shoot videos, edit it. We focus on just that particular thing you're doing because most times from editing, you see yourself jumping from one notification that comes to another and you forget that you're editing especially if you edit with your phone so this is something that could help you you get the point right <laughs> so remove anything that will you know distract you from accomplishing the goals that you have and here you have it try to redefine your goals reevaluate your goals go and revisit those goals like you are stepping into the second half of the year and you have six months remaining you want to accomplish a whole lot revisit those goals that you have already set out you can literally give it a new meaning you can literally tweak it a little you can maybe you can move anything that you want to remove that is not aligning to the path that you want to pursue and create something that will literally help you now have a plan create a plan from those goals you know break them down to help you to be able to accomplish those goals now if it's broken down into manageable bits it will literally help you to re really work on it fast enough that when you're looking at looking at this as it's looking big and it's looking gigantic and you begin to focus on it so create a plan invest in a journal invest in a notepad this will literally help you or a planner as so well this will literally help you with your planning very very important and create a routine as well that will help you have productive days i shared more about this in my book i'm going to leave link in the description just go and download your copy okay click on the link in the description or in the comment section to grab your own copy and as well eliminate distractions move distractions okay if you literally want to make this six months more meaningful and you being satisfied and fulfilled at the end of the year now this is something that you need to work on okay visit your goals create plans to help you accomplish your goals move anything that will distract you and you know stay focused create routines that will help you this is what you should do okay i hope you found this video helpful and if you did do like share it to your friend there's someone that needs to hear this share it to a friend and as well subscribe if you haven't okay do subscribe and if you're interested in living intentionally improving on yourself and you know pursuing your goals living a healthy lifestyle that you need to join my community link will be in the comment link will be in the description do well to join and if you like this kind of videos you definitely like this one right here and i will see you there thank you for watching bye